So as a beginner, there's one thing that absolutely needs to be emphasized. There's one thing that you absolutely need to focus on and not screw up, basically. But the thing is, most beginners, not all, will screw up, will do this mistake. And even if you watch this video, and even if you learn about this mistake, you will still forget about it from time to time. But you need to remember it. I mean, I've certainly forgot it time to time. I've certainly done it before. And I certainly need to remind myself. And it's one thing will save you so much time as a beginner. Because if you don't do this mistake, it's ensuring that you don't get subpar gains from your newbie phase. I feel like that phrasing entails that, oh, if you don't do this, you won't be able to maximize your newbie gains at all. That's not true. It's just you'll be able to get more of your gains in a short amount of time. If you don't do this, you will still be able to get all of your newbie gains. And this one mistake is focusing only on the number of reps, only on quantity. Focusing, focusing only on getting a rep, and another rep, and another rep, and another rep. That is a mistake. You don't want to do this, because quality trumps quantity. You want to focus on quality of the reps first. You want to focus on how you do the reps. How slow is the eccentric? How fast is the concentric? You want to make, you want to make the reps count. You don't want to count the reps. And like I said, I sometimes still fall into this trap. There are times and times again where I made the mistake of pursuing more reps, more, more and more reps, and forgot to make the reps count. And it's really easy to do. Like I've done this probably at least like three times for one exercise. One, just, just only one exercise. I've certainly done it for other exercises as well. And this was the RDL. Because I really wanted to get to two plates with RDLs. I really wanted to do it. And so I pushed. And I was chasing the number. I was chasing the numbers to get two plates. I was straying away from my original path of doing the exercise, which is the gain muscle. Instead, I was chasing the numbers. And that was a mistake. Because I didn't really gain much from that. My form, my form was not completely screwed up, but it was not the best. It was not the best. And I'm lucky that I didn't injure myself. I could have. I easily could have injured myself, but I didn't. And instead, I got lucky, and I just didn't get to progress that much. Instead, I had to go back down and wait. And I now need to slowly focus on the reps. Focus on the quality of the reps instead of the number. And by doing that, I'll be able to get to my goal. Because if you focus on the number of reps only, you know, and if you don't focus on the quality, you won't get that much better, really. Because what you're doing is when you're sacrificing quality for quantity, you sacrifice the gains that you can get. Because the gains that you get is from quality and quantity. But I would say that quality is more important. So if you sacrifice quality for quantity, you'll get less gains if you didn't do that. And so the rep number, the actual number of reps that you do, should be an afterthought. Your first and main priority when you do an exercise, when you do the reps, is the quality of the reps. Am I doing this with enough quality? Am I doing this to the best of my ability to really hit the muscle, to really exhaust the muscle? Am I doing that? So this mindset of focusing on the number of reps mainly comes from the ego. It comes from wanting to progress faster. Wanting to be more strong, or in other words, not wanting to be weak. Wanting more muscle, or in other words, not wanting to be skinny. Wanting to be better, or in other words, not wanting to suck. But things, all of these are in comparison to other people. How do you know if you have enough muscle without another person to compare yourself to? How do you know if you're strong if you don't have another person to compare yourself to? How do you become better if you don't have another person to compare yourself to? These all stem from the ego. These all stem from comparison. I don't expect you or I to become a monk anytime soon and completely disregard our ego and attain enlightenment. But just think about that. Where do your desires come from? Another is, you don't want to be a newbie anymore. And that's understandable, you know? You don't want to be inexperienced. But you have to live with it because only when you live being unex unexperienced, you can become experienced. You need to live through that first portion before you can become experienced. And the thing is, the more you do this mistake, the more you focus on the number of reps, the more time you'll be as a newbie. And it's when you focus on the quality of reps, that's when you get 
higher up. That's when you level up. And so like I said, sizing yourself up in comparison to other people who have more experience, who have put more time into this than you have, and therefore you're thinking you're insufficient. That's comparison. That's ego. That's insecurity. You're looking at other people and seeing that, oh, they're stronger than me. Oh, they're bigger than me. That's your ego. But the thing is, it's an unfair comparison because you're a newbie. You just started. And you may be comparing yourself to someone who has trained for 10 years. A fair comparison is comparing yourself training at 10 years versus them at 10 years. Then I could see an argument. But when you're a newbie and you're comparing yourself to someone who has 10 years on you, that's no comparison. So wait 10 years. Train 10 years. And then compare yourself. And then come back. But who is actually going to do that, right? Who is actually going to train 10 years? Not that many people, unfortunately. But you can. You can be one of those people who trains 10 years. And if you do, Focus on the quality of reps.